The new and improved Rand Memorial Hospital in Grand Bahama was officially commissioned today. The new operating theaters and an urgent care center are, according to Prime Minister Hubert Ingram, part of his government's 10-year plan for the national health sector and present new employment opportunities for Grand Bahamians. Sabrina Brown has more in this report. The $8 million expansion and upgrade is the largest capital investment at the Rand Memorial Hospital in its 41-year history. Two state-of-the-art high-tech operating theaters, one surgical day unit for minor procedures, and a modern accident and emergency and urgent care center pushes the Rand Hospital into the 21st century. According to the Minister of Health, Dr. Hubert Minnis, the new theaters are superior to those in New Providence, the Caribbean, and even some in the United States. He says this major undertaking is part of the government's mandate to provide first-class medical care to Bahamians. Historical records and my personal experience as a physician show that many lives are impacted by severe trauma and are recoverable. The degree to which this is possible is very much dependent on three things. Timeliness of medical intervention, the availability of appropriately skilled medical professionals, and the quality of critical care facilities. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram says the redevelopment plan was initiated during his government's second term in office. He says while many were calling for the construction of a new hospital, in 1999 the Dorset Report recommended that the Rand Memorial Hospital be redeveloped. Mining office and the sound advice profit to us in the Dorset Report. We took into account the advantages to be gained from the redevelopment of the present site notably the continu continuity of service and significant savings in capital costs when compared to a one-time replacement building on a grain site. Now that the critical care units have been brought online with international standards, the nation's leader says there are plans for further expansion to meet the growing needs on the island. This would form a hub for the development of other outpatients and diagnostic and treatment departments followed by the renovations uh, to the vacated areas, which would in turn increase the pediatrics area and surgical and medical beds that are available. And we expect, therefore, that when the price becomes right, that we will buy the Freeport Inn or the Island Palm and demolish it and create the additional space that you need on the site. According to Prime Minister Ingram, plans are also in the pipeline to construct a community health center on Grand Bahama. The Prime Minister says the expansion is also providing employment opportunities. He says some 69 Bahamians have been recruited for the RAND through the government work program. 31 are going to be deployed, I'm told, to the accident emergency urgent care center and the operating theaters as trainee technicians. In fact, those who are engaged at the RAND Memorial Hospital, if they do well, are likely to be permanently engaged at the place in the future. The nation's chief says the redevelopment generated much needed economic activity on Grand Bahama, which provided opportunities for Bahamian contractors, among other spin-off opportunities. Sabrina Brown, Set News.